Inspector Sledgehammer, Detective Doro, Special Agent Bunyan of the FBI. FBI, huh? You know J. Edgar Hoover personally? Shut up, Hammer. And stop dripping ice cream all over my carpet. I'm sorry. No! Oh, cool, cool, cool! Oh, boy, it goes right through here. Hammer! Agent Bunyan wants to borrow you for the FBI for a very special top secret assignment. Have you ever heard of Clive Winston? Makes cigarettes, doesn't he? Hammer, shut up. He was the biggest crime boss in the country in the late 60s. Well, then his brother makes cigarettes. Hammer, shut up. One of them makes cigarettes. Hasn't he been in jail for the last 20 years? Our sources indicate he's planning a prison break. Inspector Hammer, we'd like you to go undercover at Chadney Federal Prison. Get close to Winston, become friends, and break out with him. Hopefully, he'll lead you to his accomplices, men we've been trying to convict for years. And you chose me because I can make friends with anybody, right? No. No? We chose you because Chadney is full of the toughest, most violent men in the country. So, Hammer, you should feel right at home. Also, we didn't want to risk the life of one of our own men. Hey, I eat risk for breakfast. When do we go? Tomorrow at 8 a.m., you'll enter Chadney with the identity of Nick LeBeau, alias Nick the Dart, a legendary hitman who's killed so many people even our computer quit counting. But nobody knows what he looks like. I arrested him, and I don't even know what he looks like. Me posing as a vicious hitman? It'll be kind of a stretch, but I'll try. At least I have the right tools. Hammer, you can't take your gun into prison. One more thing. <gasps> this has to be kept top secret. Only the people in this room will know about it. You'll be on your own, Inspector. Good luck. Oh, oh sticky, sticky. But the... Here. What a sissy hit, man. This guy never once used a heat-seeking missile. Sledge, I want you to be careful in prison. It's very dangerous. And, well, I just want to say it's going to be difficult for everyone. I know. The separation is tough. Why, Sledge? I know this sounds hokey, Devereaux, but I'm not sure I can make it in there alone. You can. You can. I want you to know that I'm going to be here when you get out. No, not you. I'm talking about my amigo here. <laughs> oh. No, but I'll, I'll miss you too, Duro. Really? And just to show you how much you mean to me, I'm going to let you take care of my gun while I'm gone. I've written out a few simple instructions. Make sure you feed it some high-quality gun oil every night, and then wipe it down with a clean, lint-free rag. Don't worry about your gun. Take care of yourself. What we have here is a failure. A woman warden? What's next, equal pay? Call me sir. So, the infamous Nick LeBeau. Tell me, why do they call you Nick the Dart? Because I score a lot of points, sir. Oh! Don't talk back to the warden. I'm sorry. Oh! Don't apologize to the warden. Oh! Don't nod to the warden. You must have friends in high places, Mr. LeBeau. I've been instructed to place you in the same cell with Clive Winston. Yeah, well, we're old pals. We went to reform school together. It's impossible. Clive Winston must be 20 years older than you. Yeah, he's also an idiot. He flunked 11th grade 19 times. Well, I don't care who you know. In here, you're nobody. Nothing but a number. Everybody in Chadney is just a number. Yeah, what's your number? 36, 24, 36? Oh! I like to think of this as a progressive prison. <sighs> That's because it gets progressively worse. Yeah? So much for the sales pitch. Any negative points? Oh! What was that for? Nothing. Well, that's a negative point. Any others? Yes. Don't even think about escaping. Nobody escapes from my prison. Not even me. If I tried, I'd have me shot. Rules are rules. Understand? Oh! I told you. No, none.
76, you moron, 67! What the hell is this, Chester? New roommate. I don't need no stinking roommate. Sorry, Clive. Ain't no more room. Well, take some. Kill somebody. Orders is orders. Y'all keep your nose clean or I'll wipe it off of this here. Well, 67. No. 67. 67, you tomato brain. Dang. I thought I was stupid. Well, a nice spread you got here. Got a bedroom and a bathroom and a vanity. And I guess this is a den. Hey, let me give you a piece of advice. I don't like you. Now, I got two rules in here. One, shut up. Two, stay out of my way. Yeah, tough guy. Well, I got some rules, too. Number one, don't make me mad. And number two, don't use my toothbrush, because then you'll make me mad, and you'll be breaking rule number one. So which bunk is mine? I, 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 I'll take the top one. I choose the top one. Want to give me a boost up? Shut up, huh? I think I can. I think I can make it. Oh! Guy could go stir crazy here. Name's Nick LeBeau. Friends call me Nick the Dad. Ah, don't worry, I'm like a cat. Always land on my feet. Nick the Dad, huh? I heard you. Yeah, all bad. I hope. Man, yeah, I heard you hit a lot of people. That's it. Yeah, I hit a few people. I hit a lot of people. I even killed some of them. As a matter of fact, a couple of times I was contracted for your organization. Whoop. Hey, I didn't say I liked you. I said I heard you. You understand? Now put a pillow in that mouth, all right? I'm trying to read here. Yeah. Well, they can put me in a cage. But they can't tame this animal. Yada, 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 one! Hey, knock it off, Chabron, will you? No. Take this, you lousy throat. What are you going to do about it, huh? summer camp. How can they expect to reform us slugs when they coddle us like this, huh? I know that guy. I know that guy. I've seen that guy someplace before. Here. Well, what do you say, buddy? Huh? Want to play some parts easy? Maybe I didn't make myself clear to you, but I hate every single bone. No, I hate every single molecule in your body. Now, if you are smart, you'll get as far away as possible from me and die. I remember that sledgehammer, a oh, cop. He once busted my mother for tearing tags off of mattresses. Come on, Zeke, what's a cop doing in prison? I don't know. I don't know. But he's not going to be here much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What is it? Cream of lard on toast. <coughs> Let me see. 
say prison food is bad. Get through. Yo, Clyde. You mind if I join you? Why don't you go stick your head? I don't mind if I do. For Zool, huh? Mmm, <laughs> this lard melts in your mouth, doesn't it? This is delicious. Look, you blonde-headed baboon. If you don't leave me alone, when I get out of here, I'm gonna hire you to kill yourself. Hey, Clive, for you, half price. Give me your butter knife. Huh? Give me your butter knife! You just saved my life here. Eh, nah, it's nothing any other good hitman wouldn't do. So I'm driving down a freeway. It's three o'clock in the morning now. I hear thump, thump, thump. I pull over, whip open the trunk, and this guy ain't dead yet. So I grab this tire iron. Boom, boom. Give him a couple of whacks, nothing. Finally, 10, 15 whacks. Boom, 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 boom. He stops stumping, and he buys the farm. I tell you, it makes me laugh to think about it now. <laughs> hey, guys. You think that's bad? I'm trying to get some information out of this guy, right? And he is, this guy is not talking, okay? So I'm on a 20th story. And I figure, well, it might help his memory a little bit if I throw him off, right? Huh. So what happens? He lands in the swimming pool. <laughs> oh, no kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then I gotta walk all the way down 20 flights of stairs. The elevator's broken. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so then I gotta carry him back up 20 flights of stairs. He still won't cooperate. I throw him off again. What happens? He lands on an awning. He bounces into some bushes and he walks away. Uh -huh. Thinking, <laughs> why me? This why? is my feet's law. It's my feet's law. Why me? <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you, Ronnie, it's the thing that upsets me most about prison is uh, it's just men talking, you know? Men, men, talk, talk. Attention prisoners, the movie tonight will be My Dinner with Andre. You know, I like you, kid. Me too. Yeah. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. I'm busting out of this joint tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And seeing as you have saved my life here, I'm going to take you with me. No, you... you... You would do this for me. Hey. You, you know what you are? You're a real sweetheart. Never say sweetheart in prison unless you mean it. So, who are these guys on the outside that are gonna help you? What's it to you? Come on, Clive. I don't want just anybody busting me out of prison. They might be flakes. They might be lowlifes. We might have a personality conflict. You just be ready to go at 5 a.m. Bo, your girlfriend's here. Open 76. I drink them. I don't like you. Make it four. And you're ugly, too. Make it three and a half. I'm sorry. This number is no longer in service. Thoreau, what are you doing here? Hitmen don't have girlfriends. If they did, they'd kill them. I came to get a status report. Also, I brought you something. How is my amigo? Fine. Does he miss me? 
Probably crying bullets, huh? No, uh, it seems happy. Oh, good. Darrell, this isn't a prison, it's Club Med. Do you believe they actually feed the prisoners? How are you getting along with Winston? Great, I like the guy. He's brutal, he's violent, he's unfeeling. I think he'd make a great cop. When's he gonna make his break? Tomorrow, 5 a.m. Whatever. Do you think that card can read lips? I don't think he can read, period. Well, hey, come on, come on, it's almost five. I thought you said we were breaking out this morning. Yeah, but relax. Well, shouldn't we be doing something, like sawing the bars or maybe carving a gun out of soap? Kid, give me a break. I'm trying to sleep. Yeah. Come on, Clive, we can't just walk out of here. Open 67. Winston, Warden wants to see you. Okay. Uh, let's go, Nick. Warden wants to see you. No. Not him. Where do I go? He goes. Hi, Warden. What's the problem? Oh! I, what was that for? Talking. I didn't talk. He did. My mistake. It's come to my attention that you two are planning to break out of here this morning. Us? No, no, no. That just must be a prison rumor. You know how convicts are. Just like old ladies. That tucka, 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 You're yucky, lying. Yucky. It's true, isn't it, Clive? I'm afraid so, yes. You picked a great time to tell the truth. The deal was for one. Two's a bigger risk for me. It's going to cost you extra. Well, 50000 ought to be worth the risk. Take plastic. Ah. If only Papillon would have had a gold card. You see, you make a woman a warden and a breakout is cakewalk. The Mercedes is gassed up and waiting. Thanks, Warden. Money talks, money walks. So, uh, just exactly where are we, huh? Oh, on a deserted country road. But exactly, uh, where are we going? To a deserted farmhouse. It's almost worth doing 20 years for, Nick. Come on, let me introduce you to some of my partners in crime here. Yeah, sure, but uh, can I make a phone call first? To who? My girlfriend. I want to uh, I want to let her know I'm out, and I want to invite her to the party. Well, sure, sure. We can't have too many bimbos, can we? Never. <laughs> Phone's right over here. Come on. Over here. <laughs> hey. Hey, Grandma, how you doing? Hey. Yo. You got a quarter. Here we go. Here's your mom. Hello? Yeah, babe. It's me, Nick. Hammer? Yeah, old Nick. Hammer, where are you? I don't know. I'm in a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me. Could you give my girlfriend directions on how to get here? Oh, sure thing, honey. Okay. Now you go outside and you get in your car, see? Mm -hmm. Then you start it up. Then you press on the gas pedal. Nick, Nick, bring it over here, will you, Nick? I want you to meet the guys. Oh, come on over here. Come over here. 
Hey, uh, hold it down, everybody. Just a second, I got something to say here. I want you to meet the only friend I ever made after doing 20 years in a joint. Nick LeBeau. And Nick, how you doing, doing Nick? All right. Now, this is a terrific hitman. He is also real good people. Now, you may know him by his professional name, Nick the Dart. What? Nick the Dart? Yo, Clive, Nick the Dart, he killed my second cousin. Yeah, well, he knocked off my first cousin. Hold on. Nick the Dart is my sister. So you don't know my father. Your father? What about my mother? And my dog? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give the kid a break here. I mean, so he murdered a few people. I mean, he is a hitman. It is his job. Yeah, yeah. let's not get petty. Yo, Clive, I'm gonna blow his brains out right here. No, wait. Hold it. Put down your guns. Look. I'm not really Nick the Dark. Actually, I'm Sledgehammer. I'm a cop. I'm doing undercover work for the FBI. There's no reason to shoot me. Wait, did I say cop? Where is my head at? No, no, no. I'm actually Geraldo Rivera, and I'm doing an undercover expose on prison reform. No? <laughs> Happiness is a warm gun. Good work, Hammer. Yeah. We were gonna have to pick up Warden Keene and that guard Chester, too. They were both in on the break. Yeah, we heard about the bribe. They're already in custody. Well, I'm just glad to be on the outside. Being in prison was like being in a daycare center. What's this for? I'm sorry, Hammer, but you're still considered an escaped convict. Oh, yeah? By who? By me. 